In this video, I'm gonna go over how you can organize all of your files for efficient editing. Over the past year, I've done a lot of editing and I've learned a lot about how to make my workspace as efficient as possible. Be sure to watch the entire video because I'll be taking you guys through a step-by-step -step guide on everything you could do before editing your next video if you wanna make things more organized and as a result, more efficient. Let's get started. So here I am in the folder of my video. And the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is create a folder for all the subcategories in your video. So first you have the A role, which is basically the main footage of the video. And then next you have the B-roll. So this is gonna be the secondary footage that you use. Third one's probably gonna be music. Fourth one's gonna be any media. So this is gonna be sound effects, movie clips, screen recordings. And the last one's gonna be the thumbnail. This is a lot better than just having all of your clips in the folder because when you're editing and you have a ton of clips to work with, you wanna make it as easy as possible to find the clip that you're looking for. From here, what I recommend doing is actually right-clicking on each of these and then clicking on open in a new tab. So if I just click on open a new tab for all of these, then it's gonna basically create a ton on the top right here. And I also recommend opening up a new tab for your downloads because whenever you download an image or a video online, that's gonna go into your downloads folder and then you could drag that onto your video folder from the different tabs. Another thing that I recommend is having your screenshot set to a folder. And in order to do that, then you just have to create a screenshots folder. I keep mine on my desktop and as you can see, it's pinned right here. But the way that you set all your screenshots to go to this folder is you have to go to your screenshots. So I'll do command space and then search up for screenshot. And from here, you'll see a bunch of different different options down here and you just click on options. And then right here, you can see save to. For you guys, it's probably gonna be set to the default as desktop, but you just have to click on other location. And then from here, you just click on your screenshots folder and then click choose. This means whenever you take a screenshot or a screen recording, that's gonna appear in the screenshots folder right here, which is a lot better than having it scattered all over your desktop. So right here, I just went on motion array and epidemic sound and I downloaded some sample music and some footage. And just to show you guys how this organization would work, I would basically click on all the music files and then drag them into the music folder. And this video is going to be a roll. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that into the a roll folder. And this one right here is some scenery. So I'll put this one in the B roll. And when I go back into my Final Cut Pro, all I have to do is go to each folder on my finder and basically drag anything I need onto the timeline. And you know, it's super organized. So I don't have to go through and search all the files within the folder. And this way when I'm editing, I can focus on just the a roll in the beginning. And then once I'm done cutting up the footage, I can move on to the B roll. And once that's done, I can move on to the music and sound design. By the way, if you guys want, we're going to leave a link down in the description below for Epidemic Sound and Motion Array. These are the two platforms that we use for all of our videos and they have a ton of great tracks, sound effects, stock footage, as well as a ton of presets that you could use for editing softwares like Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys got some value out of it. And if you aren't organizing your files for each video, I highly recommend that you try it out. If you guys enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. We make a ton of free tutorials and guides dedicated to helping entrepreneurs as well as aspiring content creators that wanna grow on social media. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video.